Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Confessions of a Gaming Mum, and welcome to Third Week in Italy. Welcome to my birthday, <laughs> another third week in, in Italy. So yeah, so I've just woken up this morning, didn't have bubs wake me up, so that's a birthday present in itself. <laughs> so I've opened a few cards from my parents, uh, my sister, and obviously my husband and bubs. Got some money off my sister, and my husband and my parents have bought me the most amazing ice cream cake. Uh, for my birthday so when I get a chance I will actually take a picture of loads of pictures probably and I'll film it as well because it is absolutely amazing so like I've never had an ice cream cake before so I'm really excited about it but right now I'm just gonna go jump in the shower because we want to head out today because obviously the last two days because we've hired a car basically Friday to Monday Friday we did Cinque Terre uh, yesterday we did uh, Volterra Today we're doing Monteriggio, Monteriggio, something. So yeah, so we're doing that today. Anyway, just got interrupted by bumps. <laughs> so yeah, so today we're off to Monte Monteriggioni, I think it's called. I can't remember. It's a place we've never been before. I just did like a uh, Google search of medieval towns in Tuscany, and it came up. <laughs> so we're gonna go there and have a look. Um, the uh, the one I I originally wanted to go to is Pitiglioni, Pitiglioni, um, but that's like two and a half hours away. So there's no way we're getting like we're going sitting in the car for two and a half hours, especially with bugs. It's not fair. So that will have to be safe for another time. But yeah, so we're off to Monteriggioni, I think it's called. So yeah, I need to hurry up and have this shower so we can head out and have a nice day. And we've got one of my favourite restaurants booked for tonight, which is uh, Trattoria Zaza, because we haven't been at all since being here. And I've been dying to go because their food is absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, six o'clock. So we're not spending the whole day at Monteriggioni. Um, it's literally probably just going to get a sandwich and an ice cream or something and then coming back although I probably shouldn't have too much ice cream if I've got an ice cream cake waiting for me when we get back but anyway yeah I'm going to jump in the shower and you'll probably see a few shots on the road when we're actually in the town so I'll see you there
back guys, so welcome to Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. I can't remember last time I vlogged, maybe on my birthday morning, I think. So yeah, not been the best couple of days, hence why I've not vlogged. So like, my birthday wasn't the best day, um, notably because the weather was rubbish and also Bubs was an absolute arsehole the entire day. So pretty much ruined it, ruined like the meal at the, uh, at my favourite restaurant, like the one time we got to go on this holiday and it was awful, my anxiety was up because he was just being an absolute dick the entire time. So yeah, so then was that. And then the next day we woke up to find out that uh, Square Enix had sold off most of its Western studios and IPs, which obviously has left my husband heartbroken because he has been with the Tomb Raider franchise for over 20 years, since like 2000. No, not 2003, since Team Raider 3 has been uh, with with the franchise, so he's, yeah, he's incredibly upset about it. We knew something was happening because of, like, murmurings from ex-employees and stuff, but we didn't think it would be this. And, yeah, it's the most underhanded and shitty sort of deal. We're, we're incredibly angry, we feel incredibly angry and incredibly betrayed about it. Obviously my husband feels more betrayed than I do, but yeah, I still feel betrayed as a Tomb Raider fan. So yeah, um, and I don't think it really bodes well for the Tomb Raider franchise, seeing as Crystal now has 100% control over Tomb Raider. Because, again, you have that whole thing of people think that Square have been stopping things happening with the franchise Crystal wanted to do and it's been quite square that said no when actually it's the other way around. So yeah, I am sure time will tell for fans that refuse to believe that fact but when nothing changes and we still get nothing for Tomb Raider. So let's just see. Anyway, yes, yeah, so today is big washing day. We actually have a working washing machine and a working dishwasher. They came around yesterday to fix them. And the, uh, the, ho the Airbnb hosts refused to leave until the plumbers could confirm that they were both fully working and there wasn't any sort of risk of them breaking or leaking or anything. So everything's working. It got big wash on at the moment of all our dark stuff. I'm gonna also have to do Bob's wash because obviously I haven't washed his stuff for a while. And I've also got whites to do, but whites maybe I can leave till tomorrow. But yeah, today is a matter of taking stock of what's in the fridge, left in the fridge, because obviously we've got today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we go home on Friday. So we have like four, not even four days to eat all the food that's in the fridge and the freezer. So, so we have to take stock of everything that we've got left and decide what we're gonna do with it. So yeah, but anyway, as you can see, I'm just standing in my towel, so I need to get dressed for the day. Uh, so I just want to see you later. <laughs> I'm going to wear a mask.
the mark of the window. How crazy is that? Hi guys, welcome to Friday. So we fly home today. I'm currently at the laundrette trying to get everything dry because um, I washed washed the last of our dirty clothes so just waiting for that to dry um, everything's mostly packed it's just like like I said like the dirty clothes so we've got to go um, and then that's it really so I managed to get everything packed last night my suitcase is a 23 kg allowance and last night we weighed it and it was 20 so we might be over the limit I bought too many biscuits unfortunately so <laughs> But um, yeah, we're going to see, I've like swapped a few things around with Bubs and my husband's suitcase, so we're just going to see what happens with that. We've got plenty of time though, um, my parents are being picked up at half twelve and we're being picked up at two and it's currently like half eight, so like I said, just trying to get that this done. And once this is all dry, this can go in the suitcase and then the suitcases are done. It's just a matter of us finishing off what's left in the uh, in the fridge and like um, the food that we've left in the in the cupboards and stuff. Um, and then that's it. So as you'll see, I went to the Afitzi yesterday. That was my husband's birthday present to me. Was for me to be able to walk around the Afitzi by myself. And my husband's just texted me to say mine is under 20 kg. Thank God. So. <laughs> So yeah, I went to the Fitz yesterday, that was uh, my husband's birthday present to me, for me to be able to go by myself. Um, got in there, I was the first person in there, which is amazing. So yeah, I got to really sort of walk around and just enjoy it, rather than last time where we were like busy chasing after Bubs, making sure he didn't like cause any like, security issue. But, and yeah, it was really nice. The only thing, I, I missed the uh, Filippo Lippi room, because I love his Madonna and Child painting and I completely missed it because I was so excited about going to see Botticelli and being the, the first person in there. So I walked through um, a few of the other earlier rooms because normally we make a beeline for the Botticelli room but I was like, you know what, I'm on my own. Yeah, there's one or two people that are going to be around me but I don't care. I just want to like, I want to take in everything because I've not seen the other rooms for ages because normally, like I said, we make a beeline for the Botticelli room. So yeah, because of that, I missed Filippo Lippi which I'm not exactly like happy about but then there'll, there'll be another time when I get to see him because I'm pretty sure I saw him last time we went to the Fitzy with Bubs because I'm pretty sure I remember showing it to Bubs so so yeah it's just a matter of us now just waiting until until the washing's done oh I can't remember if I said earlier this week we actually experienced our first earthquake like I've gone 37 years without experiencing an earthquake and then we actually had two in one evening and it was the most surreal experience. I've never, like I know there's obviously people like, we're talking to Italians and uh, a friend of ours who's from like the Balkans and stuff and it's like, nah, we get them all the time, it doesn't really bother us. But for me, living in England, it's not something you really, <laughs> you really experience. So yeah, it was just a weirdest feeling. Like yeah, just feeling like, Sort of the, the wall behind us lurch and the sofa we're on lurch a bit and hearing the rumble and everything shake and it's really funny because I mean this is, shows how bad it is the fact that my instant thought was bloody neighbours because in our house when they, when our neighbours slam their door like our whole house shakes and that's basically what it was like so it just shows how sturdy that like these houses are and that our house was most, most likely fall down in an earthquake. So <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I realized what was happening, it, it was all over. So the the second one was a bit bigger. So I actually really felt that and it made me jump a bit. But yeah, it was an interesting experience. Anyway, I need to get on with this because this, the washing's nearly done or the drying's nearly done. So I need to check to see if there's any that's actually dry. Hopefully I won't be here too long, but yeah, I'm feeling super organised and I'm ready to go home. I'm not like, I'm, I'm sad about leaving because obviously we love Italy and we'd love to stay here forever, but but I, I'm just, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to get back into a routine, I'm ready to be going back to be using my own stuff, getting, yeah, just having my own furniture and things like that, so it's it's been an interesting experience doing like a month long trip definitely but anyway 
I need to go. So I will, you'll probably see footage now of like the journey home. And I think the next part time you may see me properly will be when I see our new bathroom for the first time. Cause yeah, that's what we've got to look forward to when we get home. So maybe see you then. Finally home. Someone is incredibly tired. That's what I can do. Floor looks clean. It's still like a thing of like dust. Yeah. You know. Are you ready? Right, keep your eyes closed because I wanna close your eyes. Let's see if I can turn the the light. Oh, we don't want to look. No, nope, other one. <laughs> you did some shell. Oh. There we go. Ready? It's <gasps> our new bathroom. This is <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to England. <laughs> oh, it's just a mixture this morning. We got back quite late last night and then we spent the next few hours so basically till one o'clock in the morning just unpacking and trying to uh, organize everything because i just can't live out of suitcases anymore i just had to get everything out also as you would have seen we saw our new bathroom which is looking lovely i won't show you guys what it looks like until um i think maybe in the next video there's still some things we need to do in terms of we don't have a blind up we're just currently looking at new blinds rather than putting the old one up we could, i think we might just throw that one away because we were looking to update them all in the house anyway so there's no point in putting the old one up just for us to like take it down and put up a new one we need to find a new storage cabinet because the old one is too high need to find a new mirror and like different things like that so, uh, so it's like the little odd bits like but the main main stuff is done we're probably also going to have to change how the door goes because the door opens inwards and because um, the, the guy has had to move the radiator along and I think it sticks out that little bit more than the old one did, the door keeps hitting it and also like it's also when you're sat on the loo like the door is almost scraping against your knees because the toilet has moved forward a bit. So yeah it's made the bathroom feel a lot smaller but it looks lovely, it's just that the bathroom feels a lot smaller so I think we need to make it that the door opens outwards rather than inwards. Um, just to give that little that feeling of a bit more space so yes that's another thing we need to look into but yeah today is just a mix of like tiredness through lack of sleep like that crushing overwhelming <laughs> feeling you have when you've got like so much cleaning to do and organizing and sorting because the house is still in a in a tip and i can just feel dust fine dust under my feet the entire time because of obviously all the dust from the plaster and then just doing the bathroom I mean they did it they did a great job in terms of like there's not a lot of like like they cleaned up after themselves but obviously there's still that dust that gets around that I don't think you can really get rid of unless you actually mop so I do need to mop all the floors which I'm not I wasn't expecting them to do I know they've, they've like hoovered up and stuff which is like I said is great so I'll probably just give it another hoover and then mop the floor I don't know when I'll do that probably Monday when Bob's is at nursery so I'll just have to deal with it for the time being. And I think it's like the reality of what's happening with my husband's job is kind of here as well. Because obviously it's like back to back to reality. Now we're back in England. So yeah, I'm trying not to think about it too much because I really need to get my uh, my vlog done for tomorrow. Because obviously I have not touched it and the last few evenings because I've been trying to get stuff done in terms of or I was trying to like pack to come home. So I do need to uh, work. That's why I'm up in the office now because I'm my husband is... Uh, I said I can come up and spend the next few hours just trying to edit my vlog and get it out so it's all done for tomorrow but we have no food in the house obviously because we came home a day early and our shopping's not due until tomorrow so my husband's had to go out to get us some like breakfast and lunch and then we're gonna get a takeaway for dinner just to keep things easy that's it really that's all I can think of that I can say but yeah I'm just feeling a bit a bit down but I think it is because I've had probably about four hours sleep so so yeah, hopefully I will feel better tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on social media with the links be down below. And on that note, I'll say love you guys and I shall see you on the next video. Bye.